what's going on everybody welcome to another video it's going to be a little different today just doing a quick unboxing or rather unpackaging in this case since there is no box yet so let's get right into it break out the old gun shell lookalike let's get this open so here it is It looks like my lens has arrived. I don't know. Oh, that's a neat little cloth handle right there. So it looks like this pulls off. Come, I can't figure it out. Come on. I pull that off now. Looks like you just pull on this tab. Pulls right out. Now that's very good pack packaging right there. If it would come all the way out. <laughs> there you go. So we got their sturdy little clamp here. Feels very premium made. Definitely pretty strong. And then the lens itself. With the cover already on. Yeah, the rest is just see if there's anything down there. This that's the uh, pouch. And then just a little instruction sheet, but who needs that? Okay, so let's get this cover off and try try this one out actually has two protectors one covering the lens and another one covering the front like the one the piece that touches the phone this is a 238 degree wide angle lens even just looking at it it's pretty sturdy why is this camera not focusing there we go feels very sturdy pretty heavy very premium made so I guess I'll head outside and try it out. Okay, so here I am outside now. It's a very gloomy, rainy day. And it's also I'm finding it kind of hard to properly focus the lens. As you can see it's probably blurry. Yep. It's still blurry, but I guess that's that's one downside to these lenses. There's really no way to properly focus them because they're so wide angle you lose focus in some areas so the angle on this is just extreme it can like pretty much see behind itself my, my hand is like barely barely uh, beyond my camera right now it's already visible in the lens that's pretty good it's still not properly focused though i have to get it to focus right but anyways let's go to the next one okay so here's the next one looks like it's wrapped up this time This one is from Aki. So there we go. This looks a lot better. There's actually a nice little pouch for it, or whatever you want to call that. A nice case. Locked with a zipper. That's interesting. Okay, let's see. Alrighty. Here's the lens. Wow, that's huge. That is massive. The clamp. Also very sturdy and with a strong spring. Then you also over here you get the cover. Kind of strange that that's individual. 
little hook to attach it to your keychain or whatever or attach a lanyard and another cleaning cloth looks like that's it this pouch is really nice though it really comes in handy when you're uh, traveling I've just noticed uh, I know in the past they've had trouble with these covers they would be very flimsy and easily come off so now they've actually made a little lock there's just two buttons that you press they are kind of hard to put your hands on but two little locks there and then there's another wide angle lens this is a 160 or 120 degree lens it's a lot bigger there so it should be easier to find the focus but let's put the clamp on looks like you just fit it on and push down there we go well let's try it out again okay starting with uh, 15 times macro lens there are two on there get a shot of something close up focus on it and it blurs out the background Quite well, I would say, and it just twists right onto the onto the clamp, and then the fish eye lens twists over top of that. So working very well, blurring the background out quite a lot, but still works very well. Let's try the fish eye lens on now. Okay, so here I am. It's still a gloomy day. And I've got the lens on right now, and I'm noticing this one is, oh, can you please be quiet? This one is a lot uh, heavier, bigger, and also um, easier to focus. If you're noticing, that's the focus there is a lot better than on the other lens. The other lens does have a wider angle, but uh, this one I'm finding a lot better, just because the whole lens is so much bigger, which makes it easier to focus Turn the lens off. It's just like this. I'm barely getting anything into the shot here. And if I put it back on, it's a lot easier to focus. And you get a whole bigger range here. So it does take a little bit of fiddling around to get it to properly focus. But anyways, that's it on these two lenses. If you need any links, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to drop those down. I'm also making a trip to Toronto uh, tomorrow, so there will be a lot more footage coming. See you guys then.